You creep me out. Okay. I, I have to keep the ha camera high, because if I start doing this, nobody looks good from this angle. Even even the gorgeous Soraya looks, looks moderately uh, why, less than beautiful why would you when viewed this from me? this angle. I would like you to stop doing this. But but when when you view her like this, like, ooh, look at that. That's some cuteness. Alex picked my um, mm. eyeshadow color today. Okay, so I think we did go, yeah, we did go offline. That's unfortunate, but oh well. I could I could have just like end tasked the OBS, and then it wouldn't have sent the going offline signal. But I don't care. Go light some candles. That is not part of the cooking. Go light some candles. That is not part of the cooking. That would have been way more dramatic, but it worked. Eleven says I'd climb Mount Soraya any day. <laughs> Hold on, any moment now. Someone going to trick-or-treat? Do we even have candy to give them? Sure we do. Are you going to have to give them my candy? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Jolly Ranchers. That's right. Oh, leave it slightly ajar. Oh, I could put I could put a candle outside. Look, oh, now, shoot. now we're like, we've got a candle. Should I put a candle outside? Yeah. Okay. Candle. And then, there's, and then there's candy. Perfect. It's not gonna like fall over and like place on fire, is it? <laughs> He's just sniffing top. Alright. Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm. What do you guys say to John Grandma? Thank you! I'll leave it out in case they want to go. Did you guys hear that? I think it's a scheduled visit, but I'm gonna leave the stuff out in case they want to grab it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a good way to trick or treat. Go to your relatives' houses. Synchronization, says Violet. Okay. We're gonna make chipotle chicken and rice. I'm gonna leave the window, this door slightly open so that we can babysit the candle. You're not supposed to leave candles unattended. Yeah, otherwise bad dad or will come to your house and teach you about fire safety. It's true. He'll do that. But he'll do it in a mean way that's not cool and fun. Which is what I realized that kind of sounded like. No, I mean... Oh, um, grab this for a second. Mm -hmm. I just need to mess with myself. Eternity. We have to do this every time, so. Oh gosh, that looks terrifying. Um, okay. I'm gonna light the other one. She didn't need to release all that money to do a bad dad stream. Only if you want to do a bad dad stream that's about fire safety. <laughs> I think you can bring in the candle from outside, Alex. Are you sure you don't want to leave it out there? Yeah. I wish we had a light. Okay, this this one's being very, very finicky. I don't know. I'm okay with leaving it Knock out there. asked, what is the schnitzel recipe? Oh, sorry. I, I no, I missed your question, Knock. Um The schnitzel recipe, oh, it's, um, it's over here. Oh. Pork schnitzel. <laughs> With roasted veggies and a creamy mustard dipper. I'm going to put John's stuff somewhere else. He left, he left some stuff at our house. Bad Dad Fire Safety Stream when I should... I I bet he'd love to do something like that. Oh man, that would be fun. Special fire safety day. <laughs> and we could do it while playing a fire themed video game. That looks so dang good. Oh yeah, we're we're making some spicy chicken today. We're gonna eat it with some rice. Look at that. That's exactly what it's gonna look like, by the way. They 
They even, they, they provided us with a lime. Can you believe it? Here we go. Okay. We need chicken cutlet. Perfect. Oh, uh, yeah, Byline. I mean, they do, um, they do, like, uh, fire safety courses and stuff, so he, he definitely know what to teach. Hey, what's up? Jinx Pixie. Oh my god. With the raid. Thank you so much Incoming for Incoming from the spoop train. Hey, so we're, we're taking a short break in our Halloween marathon to cook ourselves some dinner, because we've got like a... Uh, you know, an unsponsored, uh, companyless meal kit. Yes. Uh, I, I don't hide the label. HelloFresh, call me. <laughs> <laughs> it's free publicity, man. Just, you just gotta send me the meals. Oh my gosh. Oh, what we, what we wouldn't do for free meals. Pixie's been streaming some Bendy and the Ink Machine. Ooh. Rad as hell. Stuff I realize now that there's some items inside each other fresh ones that probably shouldn't be refrigerated for super long. Tomatoes will lose their flavor a little bit if you put them in. Yeah. I don't know if onions care, but they don't need to be refrigerated. Yeah. Like rice, you're not going to hurt it. Uh, the only thing I can think of that's like, don't put that in the fridge is the tomato one. <laughs> Apparently, Jinx Pixie got spooped good. Baby yes. Dungeons can confirm. The shout-out command isn't mod or higher. Nah, I don't care. Yeah. We give you the power to shout-out. Ooh, and look at those green onions. You know where those are going? Right in the trash. <laughs> now, now green onions can be tasty. Green onions suck. So we'll give you guys Look at the these. Recipe. They're gross. So they taste bad. Just take this recipe for free. Um, we preheat the oven to 425 degrees, then we got to wash and dry all the produce. Then we're going to dice the sweet potato up. And we're going to cut up the onion. They want us to do it in wedges. Dana says green onions are delish. Jinx Pixie says I love green onions. Eleven says you don't have to eat the white part. I think I'm in the minority here. They taste like soap. Alex has uh, some genetic thing that's preventing him from enjoying green onions. You know, I didn't even know they were called scallions until I was like 15. Like, I had no idea. <laughs> um, Dice the tomato. Are and... you sure you're not thinking of cilantro? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I know I know the cilantro thing. John put um, the green onions in a dish recently and he didn't mind it. Eh, I don't like them though. So, this is how we're eating the onions. Would you prefer the onions in a different way? So, this is like in. Oh, I mean, I don't care. You don't care? Then I'll just. Um... <laughs> I just uh, like if we can avoid the scallions. I'm sorry, I haven't had time to do the dishes. Oh no, dirty dishes Stop. in the sink! You better not. You better not. You better not. <laughs> this pot is in the way. <sighs> Maybe another time. <laughs> when Snow Wolf says, happy, Hello, happy Halloween from my family to yours. Oh my god. How are you doing? Thank you. Uh, Jinx Pixie says, I was wearing a costume from my stream because I am a dork. <laughs> Lovely. We'd be wearing costumes if we invested in that at all. So I'm very sorry. Um, maybe next year. Jinx Pixies, tell us what to dress up for next year. <laughs> Eleven says dirty dishes while I ain't coming over now. That's the part where you uh, take the coats that you forgot to put up. We don't have like easy way to hang up our coats. Hi. Let me get that dog belly. <laughs> can I get the dog belly? There's a hey. balloon. Hey, can I get the dog? <laughs> The balloon that Lauren gave me. He's gonna give it a good sniff. Good sniff, buddy. Okay. Can I get it that dog belly? Can I get the dog belly? Are you are you resisting? No dog belly. Halloween. So Pixie, how do you like to normally celebrate Burp. Halloween? I'm curious. Peekaboo. Burp. Peekaboo. 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 Burp. Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. 
when Snow Wolf says, I'm good, just got home from Sleepy Hollow, New York, a real place that's haunted by the real headless horseman that haunts the graveyard and bridge, and seen Irving Washington Grave, who wrote Sleepy Hollow, the book. Whoa! That's nice. What a cool Halloween activity. Go. Did you go by yourself? We need to sharpen this. <laughs> Nano says, Who here is dressed up for Halloween? E, I'm dressed up as a. As a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I would wear to teach. Do you see the Pikachu? The Pikachu is helping. Pikachu is always helping. All right, so right now we're we're dicing the potatoes, dicing them sweet potatoes. Gonna fry them up. It's gonna be nice and tasty. <laughs> we got quote one eighty nine. I don't want these males telling me this marriage didn't work out. We can use a rice cooker to cook the rice. Heck yeah. Jinx Pixie says, usually go out in costume with friends. One year we went to an arcade. Another we stayed in, watched Dracula dead and loving it. And made stuffed pumpkins. Ooh. Beta Dungeon says Jinx was a scarecrow. Hey, spooky. Nano says Nano is dressed up as a stressed, overworked college student that hasn't gotten enough sleep. Oh no. Violence says rice cookers aren't for rice. Oh yeah, then what are they for, huh? Cooking? Didn't think so. Okay. C Cookering. Oh, that's, that's who I could be. I could be scissor hands. Where did I put the scissors? I put them in a location. I, I definitely did that. Oh, sorry. We don't see redeems on the phone. No. Um, I would need to severely edit my setup here. Do you need streamlabs? Streamlabs uh, won't do it. I swear, I just have the scissors. Whoa. Ah, I found over here. Jinx Pixie redeems more doggo fleets. Oh, thank you so much for the fall, Wind Snow Wolf. Oh, and knock redeemed dog pets. I appreciate that. Dog, 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 dog. Um, okay, dog, I need dog. to go to my. Dog, 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 dog. Stream manager. Stream ah, I'm getting candle juice blown in my face. <laughs> no. It's okay, you were candles. basically already petting the dog. <laughs> okay. I need activity feed. In case anyone's following along at home. For the rice, we're gonna add three fourths cup water to the half cup of rice and a pinch of salt for you salty, salty people out there. Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm Me trying included. to. I'm trying to edit my. Here, I'll just like set this up in a place where I can see you. <laughs> no, honey, it's okay. You can go work on that. I'm not doing anything important. I'm cutting. Everything you do is important. <laughs> There we go. You're very sweet. Quick stream, how are you doing? Salt and vinegar chips? That is true, Red does enjoy some salt and vinegar chips. Time lapse the rice with stream? Oh yeah, we could just sit on top, that'd be pretty. <laughs> My resistance is futile, it made no sense for you. Ah. You know what a lot of my students have been doing recently is the live long and prosper sign. And I wonder who exposed them to it. I think probably one of the staff members was doing it and they're like, what's that? And now we're all doing it to each other when we sign off. So it's pretty sweet. Then my resistance to made no sense. Yeah, that's why I didn't read it out loud, sorry. Oh yeah. What's that old people thing you're doing? <laughs> Maybe they're really into Star Trek. Um, we need a pan. There's a nice pan. Would you get that for me? Um, 
Yeah, the pans are right there. Mm, right there. No, they're really not. They're there. What? Oh, baking pans. Oh, there's one in there. But there is one in here. <laughs> Jinx Pixie says, I can't do the live long and prosper hand sign. Oh, you, yeah. You can't, you can't separate you your, your separate fingers? You have to separate out some awkward fingers. It's tricky. It's, the, these two are, are pretty fused for me. These, these two tendons. I can't these really. One, these ones? Yeah, I can't really do that very well. That's about as far as mine goes. We're learning about our fingers today. Well, it's a gang sign. Movies. Signs. You take around. rice and then you put day old KFC on top of the rice in the rice cooker. This is a yeah. My hands have never cooperated well. Can you get the olive oil, please? It's over there. Oh, chat, will you grab the olive oil? Chat, will you will you grab the olive oil? Stop making chat do stuff for you. <sighs> Thanks, chat. Alright, chat. Now, hand the olive oil to Sriracha. Thank you, chat. Right. <laughs> we, we don't have the emote anymore. <laughs> That's right. Which emote you, am I looking for? Oh, the reach. You can't grab the... I think oh, it's no. time to relate, replace the pause champ with the reach. You think so? And give it a different outline. The white outline or gray outline. And make it pop a little bit. <laughs> That's my vote anyway. Dang, I like Paws Champ though. I know. It's okay, we'll bring back our Greek mythology emotes when I'm partnered. <laughs> yeah, I I need a I need a give emote again. Alright, so we have to dice the tomatoes. This is actually not the proper way to dice tomatoes, but it is an easy way. You know what? What if we what if we um commissioned like you know you know the meme of like the, the the distressed face and the really weird like hand that's super big and it's like reaching through the screen to get you can you give us an example go over and look that up on google <laughs> okay hold on we're gonna i don't think everyone is that had that experience we're gonna we're gonna google it ready cultural experiences with hold on here we go um Uh, here we go. It's a, it's it's like this one. You know what I mean? It's like that what kind. What the heck is that? It's like that kind of meme. That's freaking cursed. We should make that kind of meme, but it's the Doom Slayer. Doom's hat and he reaches. Dooms. Yeah. yeah, we're on first name basis. Mister Mister Doom. No, just Doom. Not not doom guy. Okay, stream. Um, watch out because we are going to be cutting an onion. So try not to cry. I know that it's pretty traumatic. So it's a lot. Those of you with weak countenances, please close your eyes. Oh, okay. Wait, I have to keep my eyes open. Oops. <laughs> we got Bible thumping, Jet. <laughs> How do I sharpen this? Yeah, countenance. That's your face. go like this, right? I have no idea, dude. Yeah. Eleven says, I don't care, I'm hungry. Go the other side. This is how John always does it. I'm gonna buy a big old chopping board made of wood. Beta Dungeon says, that's for straightening the blade. Fudge. Knife sharpening ASMR. You need the Doom half damaged head for that emote. I don't know what I'm doing. I know. Just cut the onion. You already did that to the knife. I already was messing with it with another tool. Alex, can you go look up how to sharpen a knife? Beta Dungeon says sharpening requires a stone. Red, you make constitution saves to resist crying. <laughs> I have to keep looking at that face behind me and it's very uncomfortable. 
<laughs> he wants you, chat. He wants you. So you should have dressed up I mean, yeah, 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 the Doom, the Doom, uh, and Doom 2 face, yeah. If anybody cries on screen, stream, it's because of the onion, not because of unrelated things that happen off stream. I, I'm gonna dice the onion. I don't really like onion wedges, because they're kind of awkward to eat, if you eat, like, a whole onion wedge. So I'm gonna dice them. I'm not following the recipe, yeah, I'm gonna dice the onion, no one can stop me. I know I'm not using proper The claw. Hand. The claw. But the claw is harder to control. I know, I gotta practice with the claw technique. Beta so. Dungeon found a YouTube video for us. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure that's very helpful. Nano says there is an easier way to dice an onion, but it's way too late for that. Hey, look, the onion's getting diced. Alright. I decided halfway through that I was going to dice it, so... There is that part of it. The very unprofessional cooking stream. Makes a couple pieces. Beta Dungeon says, you got this! Aw, that's so supportive. Yeah, this is this is not a how to cook stream. This is a we are cooking because dinner needs to happen tonight. Probably don't need the stream. whole onion, because I'll eat this much onion, you'll eat that much onion. Violence is you use that rod to hone the blade, but not sharpen it, which are different things. I, um, and all I have to say to that is, while you were sharpening the blade, I was honing the blade. <laughs> Loud noises incoming. Free Pikmin coasters. Wait, is this not the right one? What the heck? You'll, no, you'll never be able to get any... Uh, ha -ha. You'll never be able to get any physical reward from Club Nintendo because they always make like, like twenty of them. Okay, we're gonna do. And then some somebody's oil. like pressing refresh on the Club Nintendo page. So we're gonna add a couple of teaspoons. To Ooh, some each. oil. Then why is your knife dull? <laughs> How dare you call my wife dull? <laughs> my wife. Oh, well, my hair has got in. So, always use a hairnet. Nice job, honey. <laughs> always tie your hair The best back. mixer is the hands, says Beta Dungeon. Always, always use a nicer dicer, says Knock. I would, but you don't have a wife, Brad. <laughs> Generous Oof. helping of salt. So, Allie, just squeeze yourself right on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you're not that salty. I'm I'm pretty salty about how stupidly hard Alien Isolation is. That's fair. It is a horror game, so you are meant to die. I'm, okay. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Okay, set a timer for 25 minutes. You're supposed to die in action games. Set a timer for 25 minutes. Chat, could you set a timer for 25 minutes? Oh my gosh. Chat is not your slave. <laughs> Violence is okay. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, love. Good job, chat. Okay. Alien not so nice elation. <laughs> Series at a timer for 25 <laughs> minutes. Time to cook the chicken. We're gonna pack the chicken dry. And then we're going to season it with the Southwest Spice salt and pepper. We're going to get some oil in it in a pan, heat it up, cook until brown, and uh... Sweetson says, hey Red Hitorama, why don't you take this time to practice your sneaking skills? I mean, I can spot you all the way from over here in Sweden. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Sweetson's docks. We know where he is. Go get him, boys. Don't you have a Google slave for timers? Nah, Sriracha killed him. I unplugged it because we ran out of Android char chargers. She would rather cannibalize the Google than, than order a new charger. I will get a new charger at some point. 
Get ready for like five timer alerts in about 24 minutes. Google got uninstalled like Animal Crossing. You guys want to go get the Google Home and plug it in? You could do that. I found another Android charger, so we have enough to have both my phone plugged in and the Google Home now. Ooh, look at that rice a bubbling. Ooh, baby. You put in like as much rice as it can hold, right? Because you know I like tons of rice. I used what they sent me. <sighs> I know. That was probably a bit too much oil. These are gonna be some fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I could pour some out if I wanted to, but. I was getting generous with the oil. <laughs> you know what I mean. But it ain't deep fried, says Nano. Yeah, this is just gonna be like. I don't know, what's what's the middle between like shallow and deep? That's <laughs> where my brain is. Nana says she wants to, the chicken to be nice and lubed up. <laughs> Violence is just fried. Beta Dungeon says just fried. <laughs> Luke okay. Deep says eleven. I like that answer. That's curse. <laughs> Luke Deep. <laughs> An Android charger, so basically a micro USB cable, yeah. Don't want to stab you with this. Are you ready for your close up? Oh, honey. I've been close up this entire time. Would you back off? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my phone is USB C. Sarai still has an old phone that dies before she's done with the day. It, she, does, it does what I tell it to do. Soraya doesn't uh, buy herself things. She, buy she, she'd she rather just, like, say to me, man, we should get so-and-so. I appreciate you Or, in the case of her phone, she's just like, mm, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, Soraya, isn't your phone, like, dying every single day before you're, like, even when you don't use it that much? So shouldn't you get a new phone? She's like, eh. I'm actually going to cut it before I season and, and fry it so that it um, cooks a little bit faster. USB-C was invented by Apple. it cooks all the way through really easily. <laughs> Byline called, quote, 1895. I can buy a person. That's terrible. I want him. <laughs> did I say that? You did. Yeah. That's the well, sriracha. It was a wild, wild game. The other reason is because it wasn't actually completely unfrozen. Oh yep, that's that's the chicken. Look at that, look at that chicken. That came right out of a chicken. Would you like them in strips or chunks? Um I guess I'd like the strips. Just leave them in strips. <laughs> mm, meat. Yeah, they some of the meat was kind of partially still frozen when it got here. Nana says it's all pink and fleshy, and Eleven says just like me. Okay, we need to pat it dry. We'll say nice things about it to bring out its flavor. Good chicken. Nice chicken. You're a good chicken. Thank you, chicken, for dying so that we may eat you. <laughs> what are you up to over there? Oh, just just doing a little bit of bonking. Bonk. You are very good at bonking. You want to get me the Southwest seasoning mix from the ingredients over there? It's this one. Good Probably. Job. Yeah, I think that's the only mix there. South. Wait, I think it's. I think it says, camera, Southwest spice. There we go. Perfect. Hand it to her, chat. She needs it. Give give it to her. I think you need a bonking. <laughs> Levin says, I bet that's just brown sugar. It's spice from the southwest of something. Okay, well, you didn't actually need that. 
Mm. Beta Dungeon says Pupper's looking for the meat or other nibbles to grab. Yep, he's supervising. Salt. And we're not going to cover it because something that John taught me was if you cover it, the moisture can end up making the meat you're cooking not quite as yummy and crispy. Yeah. Oh, my rice is done. Eleven says it's okay to eat raw fish, but never eat raw chicken, okay? It's good advice. We should make more rice. I like rice too I much. I might not eat as much as your rice as you like the rice. How much, how much rice did we make? That is certainly not that enough. That is how much they said. That is certainly not enough. That's enough for me. That is enough for you. I'll probably have a different side then. Wait, no. No, I'm not going to eat all the rice. Well, to be fair, you're probably not going to eat a ton of the yam. If I'm being totally honest. Oh yeah, sweet potatoes aren't really my thing. So, I'll have that as my... Yummy, yummy carb. Okay, this is gonna be loud. Some bagel, how you doing? Woo! I found a bag of the spicy Korean rice, like instant rice, and it was really good. Sweetness says rice is nice, especially when the spy may as well advertise his sneaking tries, which become his demise, so he dies not saving any allies. I could go on, but now all that salt could flow over into the food. Oh <sighs> Byron says ripped clothes, no apron. And Bye, some bagel says bagel. it's midnight where I am, so let me get my broom real quick. <laughs> You're flying broom? Go. Eleven says, do you have a panini maker? My mama made me a grilled cheese panini today and it was so good. Nice. We'll have to put a panini maker on the registry. Yeah. I bet you'd love a panini maker. Yeah, I would. Ooh, that chicken's looking like chicken. I would hope so. So next thing we're going to make this uh, salsa. Salsa. So we're supposed to take the tomato, lime juice, salt, and pepper. Oh, heck yeah. And two, yeah. Some bagel says, I had fries and coconut shrimp today. Nice, that sounds really good. Yummy. Gotta get those pink, pink parts. Duke's got pink parts. Yeah. They're underneath, they're hidden. Where is that dog? So we would add the green onion into the salsa, but it sounds like you're not there he is. Found him. Um, I would rather we didn't. Okay. Here's the lime. Beta Dungeon says spaghetti with Italian meatballs. Yum. Salt and pepper. Okay. It won't have the grill marks, but you can substitute a panini maker with something heavy like a brick wrapped in tin foil to weigh your food down. Yes! I like this advice! You guys come up with the most helpful stuff. <laughs> Nox says, uh-oh, the S-word. Luckily, Vex wasn't in, in the stream. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. For Vex, he needs the prawn. Okay, so... Eleven says a lime. Yeah. In the rice, we're going to add some margarine. Oh shoot, yeah. We're gonna make more rice. Don't worry about making more rice. You can have all this rice. No! We've got to both have rice. I don't want to wait another 20 minutes for the rice. But the first 20 minutes was so fast. Yeah, actually it probably wasn't a full 20 minutes. Yeah, here, you hold it. I'll make more rice. So, finish making that rice. Add margarine to it. Um, add salt, pepper, and a little bit of lime juice. On the rice? Mm -hmm. Okay. Add the margarine first so you can melt it in. 
and, and a skirt. Okay, um, I will set up you guys here, maybe? I don't know. You, are you guys comfortable there? Yeah, you're pretty good there. Okay, let me get a bowl. Pull oh, this rice. Okay, it looks like the chicken is cooked through. That's a first noise I just made. <laughs> that, that sound was straight out of a Halloween sound effect. He's put some WD-40 on this stuff. Can I get another one? Yes, you may. Thank you. Oh, is our food ready? What? No. The timer on the um, microwave's off. No, it's not. It's still going. Oh, it just disappears? And also, I think Bylan uh, has one. Yeah, remember ours, like, stopped at uh, this point. Creepy. Watch where you're putting that in the trip. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked up and I realized <laughs> that was kind of not a great angle. But, uh, oh well. Did you look into the camera real quick just for a sec? Oh boy, what, what is this? What are you planning on doing with me? I'd be wary if chat commands you to do anything, Rod. Hold on, I'll, I'll be right there. I'm gonna finish getting this rice out of here. Why is it so sticky? Hi. What? What do you need? I raked all the leaves in my yard. Mm, oh my yeah. gosh, the bagel. I'm proud of you. Leaves, not arms. <laughs> it's covered. It's covered with all these arms. My chicken chunks um, weren't completely, completely cooked, so I gave them a bit more time. She's an arms dealer. Hey. Yeah. Okay. The rest of this rice is not going anywhere. You tried your best, and in the end, that's all that matters. I thought in the end it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Whoa. Uh... What did you do? <laughs> Just some stuff in the container drawer fell over. What did you we were neither do? of us were near it. Alright, honey. Here, I'll take over the rice. Did the center of those chicken pieces reach safe temperature, Sriracha? Yeah. Violent? Yeah, they did. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Alright, keep that. Use the thermometer. We don't have one. Okay, take that and uh, you can follow me as I do the next part. What am I supposed to do? You can follow me as I do the next Hold part. on, wait, we gotta make more rice. Yes. Let me finish this first. I need to get no, rice. No. Because no. it's going to take time so you should do that one first. Well, you would have to finish scrubbing out the rice pot first, love. Why? Can't you just leave? No. There's just rice. It's just rice. What the? What? No. That would not be good. What do you mean? No. If you just put some raw rice and, and water in there, the old rice kernels would like overcook to the point that they'd be nasty. I hate this. Is Miss Typing? Oh no! Oh my gosh. There's a big good rice so This is all the rice we're getting? This is dumb. Go ahead and take that. No, I'm scrubbing out the rice. You can't stop me. I need to make a second portion of rice. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. There's a ghost to toss the dishes around. Oh my gosh, it was. Um, I'll make the rice love. Why? Why are you going to make... No, you're not going to make the rice. You're just telling I'm me you're going to make the rice. rice. You're going to trick me, and then you're not going to make the rice, and you're going to go, well, I just thought we really didn't need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you trying to kiss me? Why are you trying to kiss me? Um, I've had enough of midriff cam, so uh, pick it up, please. Uh, oh, like you can't pick... Also, what did you do with the kitchen scrubber? It's gone. I tossed it so I could get a different one, and then I wasn't able to find one. You threw it away before we got a new one? Yeah. 
I will get one. I just I don't use it as much as you do, so. How do you scrub things? With a sponge. That's how you do it, Alex. I cannot fucking believe this. <laughs> how the fuck am I supposed to scrape rice out of here with a fucking like wet, floppy sponge? <laughs> Use your muscles, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to train a uh, emotional this, this doesn't work, it's not happening. So much emotional response. I'll take over. Take the camera. Take the camera. Hey, you, if, if I can't do this, you can't do it for sure. Okay. Oh god, why are you why is this? Fine, do it. Do it. Grab the camera. I fucking dare you. Grab the camera. No more midriff cam. You ginger soy boy. I love it. Who was that? That was Dixie. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is the worst dream ever. Okay. This is the best thing ever. My fucking bag is falling into the trash and nobody cares but me. <laughs> no one can see anything on the stream. Oh, oh, it's just... Well, they can just use their imagination. That's a bad idea. That's not a good thing right now. Honey. Honey, stop standing over there. I'll pick up the camera and I will do it. Hi, chat. <laughs> you called me a soy boy. <laughs> I. They were within their rights. I want an apology. Because honestly, that was rude. I don't know if you're getting one, love. That's exactly what my wife does. And just I know her stuff that's been sitting in a specific spot for five years. Be gone. Wait, no, I thought it'd be over here. better over here, so I moved it and doesn't tell me squat about Thank it. Thank you! She does that! She, her, she does that. You know what She'll Alex does? She'll just move you stuff. You know what Alex does? And I'll just be like, this is where it goes! You know what Alex does? Oh, what do I do, huh? What do I do other than other than work my ass off for this house and for this family? Uh, yes, you do that. I'm very proud of you. Full-time streamer boy. Um, but you do not. Um, do the two main chores, and that is, uh, I have to do the dishes, and I have to do the laundry. Oh, oh, she has After two I get home from chores. Work. After I get she home has from eight one hours. one daily chore and one weekly chore. I have to do laundry, like, twice a week, because I don't have enough clothes to last me for a full week. Kiki Ben says, I've been busy clipping Phasmophobia. Check Discord when you get a chance. Oh my god, I can't wait to see Levin says, technically, he's working now. <laughs> Levin says, girl, you deserve an allowance. Bagel says, me and Sriracha do the same jobs because I can't do laundry. Laundry's hard. Honey, I just want you to know, I love and support you. I love and support you, And you're a very good cameraman. Okay. Thank you. You're, you're a good teacher and... And would you say I'm a good scrubber? Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Look, you scrubbed it so clean. Mm -hmm. How did you get all the rice out of there? I'm used to this job. Cookie Man says, is Soraya making your workplace hostile? Violence is five minutes. He's got that timer. Nice. Should I give you the number for human resources? Isn't that such a weird title, Human Resources? <laughs> yeah, that like, is. like you're a fucking resource? That is kind of freaky. Alright, how much more rice should we make? Uh, like as much as you can. <laughs> I swear to God, I will eat it all. I'll make another cup of rice. At least it's an honest title. Good commences fill the entire house with rice. <laughs> it's like one of those children's books where they make so many pancakes, it's like filling up their whole house. I don't think that was quite enough water. 
<laughs> Look at that long boy dog cam. Uh, some bagel says I'm in my loft bed and it's time to call human resources. Let's see how chicken is. Eleven says they should call it pleasing peoples. <laughs> what children's book did you read? Says Cookie Man. Um. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, that's spicy and tasty. Ooh. Okay. Our salsa is just going to be. Um, Salted, peppered, and limed tomatoes, which is fine. Then it's pico de gallo. I can add some. Well, actually. I yeah, it's just going to be seasoned tomatoes. That's fine. Yeah, this will be good. Cookie Man says, do we get any candy corn? Not yet. I'll probably fix them up uh, after, the, after the Halloween rush. Okay. I'll, so... I'll tell you what kind of candies we got. Let's go do a candy stream. You ready? Ready for the candy stream? Oh, Duke thought he was going to be on camera. He perked up. We got... Unreal. We got Ocho. We got Kit Kat Duos. We got York. And we got Take Five. Okay. We got a bunch of weird candies because all the regular candies were taken. Margarine? I hate candy corn. Well, some bagel. I hate... Whoa. Uh, other candies too, but it's okay because we can have different tastes and still coexist. Good job, good job. <laughs> Saved it. York is delicious. I want that York so bad. Heck yeah, you guys have good taste. Is that seriously a chocolate name? Unreal. It's because it's non dairy, it's, vegan. It, it's specifically vegan. You do want to eat an unreal. <laughs> okay, salt, pepper, and lime. Hey, at least it's not called Quake. Am I right? Salt. Am I right? Yeah. Rice, 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 rice. And you get something extra. Unreal, <laughs> you making a tournament with that later. What's up with the poop coaster? Oh, that's a mouse pad. This was a this was a birthday present from Baku Jean uh, one year. He he got me this. He's uh, just that nice. Yeah, because he, he loves and cares about me. So here's your rice. Rice, 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 rice. We can share it until the next time. You know, you may have had some... Oh! My brain hurts. It's too small. It's just a big one. Chipotle sour cream. <laughs> oh, yeah? You do. Ooh. He's getting some rice. Yeah. There. See, we need enough for three. I do not get the sour cream because I would die. I wouldn't literally die. I'd be fine, but... I would be sad. What's this is it? not ripping! and I need someone that can rip and tear. <laughs> oh, if only we had an emote for that. We're gonna upload that tonight, aren't we? <laughs> I'm gonna have to reinstate that emote. We'll do it. We'll do it. Let it make a little bit more clearer. Maybe we'll put the Doom helmet behind and like, we'll figure it out. How much sour cream do you want, love? Do you want both tubes? Uh, I mean, you can just make up the sour cream. <laughs> Bless you. If you touch my frog, I will go ballistic. This cookie man. So you'll so eat, you'll eat two sour cream. Violence says no. It was perfect. <laughs> Do we just want the hand? <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, you can just make it both. That's fine. Salt, pepper, lime juice, and chipotle powder. <laughs> I'm 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 sensing a theme here. Salt, pepper, and lime juice. Can we play hide and seek with Duke again? Yeah, here we go. Ready? Peekaboo. <laughs> where's where's the Duke dog? Peekaboo. <laughs> yeah, I think our timer is going off. <laughs> Look at them veggies in the oh. We, uh, we definitely burned some of them onions. No, we did? <laughs> yeah. We should have checked on them. I think it's because you diced them. Oh, no! <laughs> Get him out of there! Get him out! <laughs> ah! Here, here, here. Hold it. No, 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 hold no, no, it. no, no. Hold it. I'll... Okay, fine. No! <laughs> my onions! I was a fool! <laughs> okay. Call the fire department. Burnt onion is good. It's 11. It does actually look pretty good. 
so I'm so sorry. Beta Dungeon says, my grandma would call that caramelized. It's okay. <laughs> no, good? my onions. She's just like unceremoniously like flopping them on top of the uh, the chicken right now. Where'd you put your oven mitt? Use it to stabilize the, the tray. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what the difference between Bert and Carmela is 20 bucks at a fancy restaurant? Knox says it's get, giving a little crunch to the meal. That's right. I need that emote, that specific emote that you and Vex have, Knox. I, I don't care about any of the other ATP emotes, I just want that one, because that one's such a mood. Okay. We're almost done. Some people pay extra for different textures as paid a dungeon. Creaky Man says, excuse you, Red. Oh, I'm sorry, because I said I don't care about any of the other ATP emotes. Oh, yeah, I gotta mix this up. Add some salt. Add some pepper. I thought you burped under your breath. <laughs> I did. I couldn't. I can't believe you fucking heard that. I use that a lot. Also, the oh yeah, the the data one is good, but there's like it's 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 just a lull. Yo. Oh my gosh. Hot row bubba. <laughs> Got my super good expensive headphones on. Ooh, so you got to hear that 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 mini burp in like top quality. It's pretty terrible. Not gonna lie. Rice bowl. Rice bowl. Rice bowls. So I'm not plating this really nicely. This isn't professional. Don't try this at home, except do try this at home. Sponsor us HelloFresh. Rice bowl somebody. Cookie Man says, Sarai, if you made it, how bad can it be? And Beta Dungeon says, it looks fine. Oh. It does actually look pretty good, huh? We got some chicken and some veggies in there. It's not a super great, like, color spread. My, my grandma would be upset about that. She likes lots of colors. Yeah, my, my grandma knows, like, super proper plating and, 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 like, color. You want, like, color in your meal? Yeah. Poop emoji coaster. It's a, it's a mouse pad that Baku Jean gifted me for my birthday. And then we can add this. Do you want me to add it onto... Yeah, sure. Just Drape that on there. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it's supposed to be two servings of it, right? Or is that only one serving I of it? I just need one up. Okay, then yeah. And then if you really like it. <laughs> Creek Man says the chicken salt. If Grandma was here right now, she'd be asking you to play the duck game. <laughs> oh my god, the goose game. What did she call it? The duck game? Okay. <laughs> well. Okay. Hot, hot Rob Bubba says, no, it Hot Rob Bubs. Oh, sorry. Beta says, don't my forget your water. Bad. Oh yeah, we got we got to drink water from Beta Dungeons. Oh nice, let's get some water. Hold on, I think I think I have some water. I think I have some water over here. The stream set up. Oh no, it's empty. Well, you can't really see it's a black cup. I could have just pretended it was full and drank, but I didn't, because I'm not that kind of streamer. Okay. No, you only get the real, real. Would <laughs> you be down for another Phasma stream? I I don't know. I'm not one for horror. I just I don't know. I don't know if I get the same thing out of it that other people do. Look at these rice bowls. You did get very spooked. Extra seasoning. I feel like I feel like my response to horror is to like it, is to go to safety, and then I just kind of do that, and then never progress. Oh my god! Yeah. And that, like, if I go up there, I'm gonna get eaten by the monster. Yeah. Red is right. More rice is needed. Thank you. It's true. Water drink scam, not on Redhead Orama. Here you go, love. Okay. Let me take mine. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap the camera here. 
Do you have somewhere there to put it? I can get you books and stuff if you want to um, have more help. We'll just brace it against this. Uh, can I put these out? Yeah. <sighs> Hold Time on. for candles to go out. <sighs> there you go. My response to horror games is becoming the murderer IRL. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna switch over this. Uh... <laughs> Was I peeking the microphone? That's amazing. Okay. I'm gonna move these out of the way. They're all liquidy. And then we're gonna. I can get like a mug or we're something. We're gonna set you guys like right up here or so, maybe. Don't you have a, a cell phone stand? Mm. I won't do what we want it to do. Yeah, it will. Just bring it over here. No! It doesn't work. It does work. I've literally seen it work really well. It doesn't work like this angle. It totally does. All right. That's that's too high. I'm a huge fan. I am going to consume all of this. Why do you guys call it a cell phone? Because it is a cell phone? What do you call it, Cookie Ma'am? <laughs> yeah, what do you call it, bro? I'm called for. A mobile. Yeah. A mobile phone? Um, it's called that because it uses the cellular network. So no, cellular. This, the cellular cellular network was because it's called a cell phone. Okay, um, you tell us, wise guy. Because I clearly don't know. It's because it's a single, like, it's just one cell. There's not, like, a headset or a, uh, a handset to go with it. I'm gonna add some more margarine. Fake butter. A mobile over here is a spinning thing above a crib, yeah. Nom 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 nom. I wonder if that's different in the, uh, in Tomodachi life too. Because you can give someone a cell phone and there's also a mobile that you can entertain the Mies with. Oh wow, I didn't even think about that. Mmm. It's dirty. 3D printer, print out the angled phone stand you want. That's a very good idea. I'm curious, guys, is this a recipe you would make? Or would, would this be something that you would want? Oh, bye bye. Wait, you guys call like the little spinning toy above a, a crib a lullaby? Yeah, a lullaby. No way. Oops, can't put that That's there. cool. I think we just rotated meanings in America. We're like, oh no, we're cool. We're too cool. So that's how Fanny became Fanny and Pant became Pants. And... <laughs> nice faded dungeons. <laughs> Some Miguel say says, Fanny. no, because I can't cook. It's a handy. It's called a handy. Oh, okay. That means something else here. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Let me show you the picture of what this is supposed to look like again. Mm. Exactly the same. Yeah, can you imagine hearing that your dad gifted your sister a handy? <laughs> oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> can we go to France and only say baguette the whole time? That's terrible. When we were literally on the U.S., you just said our words weren't good enough. So not only did you dump your tea, or do you also stop speaking correct English? That's true. That's true. We decided to make our own. So that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know about that shift. Lullaby. Mm. Mm. So handy is cell phone. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Got it. I'll uh, keep that in mind in German. Mm. Ooh! Some bagels are going to just splits. Mm. And a projector is Beamer. That makes sense. Okay, Beamer. I don't think Beamer has a different meaning here, does it? No. Nom 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 nom. What do you guys call the back of a car? 
than what you get out your groceries. We call it a trunk. A boot. Good, good idea, Cookie Man. Mm. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's see this clips. Trunk, car boot, a boot. Hmm. Oh, um, why don't you look that up, Knock? <laughs> it's, you know, a little bit of... Some very special treatment. Don't worry about it. When you're older. This is so freaking good. It's a cell phone. <laughs> Alright, this one's called, What If I Were To Do This? Oh. It's a cell phone. Back of the car is Kofaram. Cookie Man. <laughs> That's lovely, Eleven. All right, here we go. What if I were to do this? I'm not going near any bathtubs. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> the doors are really weird in this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Mm. It's hard to take pictures of yourself while doing the splits. Hard to point a camera. <laughs> mm. <laughs> when I'm older, yeah, that's the joke. We're, we're, we're going further in? We're like out of... <laughs> What's this one called? Don't be such a baby. <laughs> Do we though? <laughs> I remember this. What, so they can pay us the like 50 bucks? <laughs> you guys are freaking desperate. Thank you, Win Snow Wolf, for the hose. It just lets me go right through the solid door here. Man, I wish it let me go through solid doors. Oh no. Oh no, that's when Cookie Man died. Hmm. <laughs> I want to so know some more um, slang. Do you guys call this tongs? Is this universal? Does everyone call these tongs? There's some words that are universal English. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize that you, like, it happened as soon as you said, don't be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Pinchy grabby things. Leaf grabbers. Snipper snappers. You guys are goofy. This one's called For the Stream. <laughs> my own hair is getting in my food as I eat. Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you have such a gentle voice. I love it. It's so sweet and precious, and I love it. <laughs> mm, you're the same fallen beta dungeons. I'm trying to think of words that might not be the same in other cultures. Is this universal? Lighter? Things that, like, would take on other meanings, possibly. Yeah. That's consistent. Hmm. Words that mean other things in other languages. Hmm. I'm running out of rice here. Good thing we got more. Wanna see what's ready? Mm-hmm. All big ones, gas lighters. Nice, it is ready. Because you light your oven stoves with them. Oh, I believe you, some bagel. I know you're doing the splits out there. I have some students that do the splits, and it's amazing. Hmm. A coffer on, translated literally, means suitcase room or suitcase space. Yeah. What were you using for the rice? I added some margarine. I added some salt. I added some <laughs> the pepper. Pencil. Oh, um, I'm not sure where it went. And how come you never put the dang uh, <laughs> oven Something. mitt back where the dang oven mitts go? Um, 
I put the other one over here. You shouldn't use it while it's wet. It's not safe. Um. Hmm. I never thought of that connection, Bylan. What is he saying? Hmm. Trunk can also mean suitcase. Like a really big one. Oh, yeah. Um, do you guys use the same word for backpack? Isn't um, that your knapsack? Maybe. In, in British English? Trunk can also mean swim trunks. Oh, yeah. I don't well, think no, about I that. Guess that's trunks. Yeah, we would say that they're swim trunks. I've never heard them called just trunks. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Like, I've heard them called trunks. Yeah. But... But you wouldn't call them, like, a trunk. <laughs> I've got a little like, bit of chicken left. Trunk. Chicken. Do I have any, do you have any, um, tomato left? What? Tiny okay. Tiny bit tomato. Okay, so we've got some other words. Some other words. I'm going to have to scroll up in the chat to see them. Trunks backpack. is also underwear, like Trunks the Saiyan. Oh my gosh, yeah, like like Bulma for bloomers. Okay, I'm gonna scroll back to the chat. Buruma. Subreddit? Really? <laughs> okay, some bagel uses pack back, knock uses rucksack. Let's just toss back. We call them rucksacks sometimes, but mainly backpack. Rucksack is the German word. Mm, the, yeah, the names for the toilet. I only call it the toilet. Do the you, loo. Do you guys call the I bathroom the I, bathroom? I bet. I bet you anything. Cookie Man calls it the loo. <laughs> I think they calls it the toilet. Thunderpuff. <laughs> okay, we got some margarine in there. What else? Let's add some salt and pepper to it. Ooh, wow. I like the way because you think, I'm girl. Afraid. See the pepper super well. Sometimes. What are some other words that might be different culturally? Oh, he does. Oh, no, he was saying sometimes he does. Oh, oh. Getting that everywhere. Oh, yeah, did I get some on you? Maybe I can find an article with words that are different in English and um, uh, British English. American English and British English. Where's my phone? Ooh, rice. Thank you. Mm. Phone. I'll bring the candy over in case you want some dessert. Cookie Man says, The bathroom is the room with the bath. The toilet is the room with the toilet. They're the same room. Hmm. Well, no, I, Cookie Man, I think they're misleading you here. Yes, uh, most people have a room in their house that has a toilet but no bath. Oh, yeah, I guess I've just been living in a one-bedroom apartment for so long. <laughs> mm. Gift means poison in German? So you shouldn't write gift on package, you're sending someone. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's, that's really funny. That's hilarious. What are some other words that might be different in British English compared to American English? Hmm. Let me find an article. Nice frozen taco. Different words. I use the bathroom, but my family calls it why is my hair stuck in the shower drain? <laughs> All that rice took some poor guy two weeks to harvest. But yeah, it can be really tasty sometimes, I admit. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Okay. I found one. Um, counterclockwise. Is anti-clockwise in British English, apparently. 
Sorry. Cookie Man can tell me how many of these are. The house yeah. says, I guess, blurry website. <laughs> it's okay, I'll guide you throughout. You can use both. Mm. This says that the appetizer word in the American oh, English is Cookie Man says anti clockwise isn't used. Oh. Updated. This, Fake this, news. Some of this is not real. Oh, eggplant. Uh, eggplant is called aubergine or aubergine. Mm hmm. I've heard about that one. But I don't think it's just called that. I am inevitable. Mm. Indeed. Mm. Oh. They have a different word for suspenders, apparently. Braces? Is that true? I don't know if they use that. <laughs> Braces. Counter Braces are what you get in your teeth. Counterclockwise, of course. No, that's super old. This is outdated. We need a better one. Fake. This one says for pacifier, they use dummy. <laughs> that might be super old too, huh? Oh. That one's true? That one's true. Nice. Here's a related one. A baby sleeps in a crib. But do you also use crib? This one says that they usually call it cot. <laughs> no one's gonna die for snapping. Use cot? A baby cot? That's so cute! Cool. If you use the word cot here, no one's gonna picture a crib. Mm -hmm. They're gonna picture like a bed in a jail cell. Or mm -hmm. like a, in a hospital. <laughs> and there's not enough beds. Or like an army. Mm mm mm. <laughs> Something else is what? Quick question. Mm. What would you call this? To us. To us, a cot is like a really, like, a really extremely basic bed. Yes. Like a cushion, and that's it. A tea towel. Washcloth? I usually call it washcloth. Rag. Rag. We use rag, but just yeah. as much as washcloth. This was actually really good. Mm. Thank you. I actually really liked the They way have a you different word for zucchini. Corgette. Is that real? <laughs> Is that real? In Sweetest, we both have clockwise and counterclockwise, but we also call it with the sun and against the sun. Kick Man says that one's real. Hmm. All these new words for veggies. I'm glad you like the fezzies, Daryl. Mm. What do you think of sour cream? It was a tasty sauce. Mmm. Mmm. This one I already know about. You go on vacation in America. You go, go on, on holiday. You go on holiday. You should get in the that difference between a shovel spade and, and, and trowel. <laughs> well... The shovel is the big one, the spade is a suit for cards, and a trowel is um, what you use to dry off when, uh, when you get out of the shower. I'm concerned for your help. Mm. Easy. Next one. Next question. Do you use sweater or do you use jumper? Jumper. Jumper. Yeah, nobody says jumper here. Yeah, I know that everyone would be like, jumper? What's a jumper? Yeah, do you, like, do you mean a jumpsuit? <laughs> you don't want to hear my fake British accent. Americans call all three shovels. <laughs> oh, yeah, they have mobile instead of cell phone. Oh, they have a different word for license plate, according to this chart. Yeah, mobile versus cell phone is what started this. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Americans call all three shovels, yeah. Apparently, a uh, license plate's number plate. Number plate, okay. Registration plate, says Cookie. Hmm. Wait, they have a different word for liquor store? What do you guys call the liquor store where you guys are at? I'm gonna get some, some milk so I can have it with my mm. candy. Is she there... means fake milk, though. Not real milk. Yeah, no. Fake real fake milk, milk would kill her. Why 
Cookie Man says usually a duty free. A duty free. Duty free alcohol store. <laughs> Lick poor store. <laughs> they have another word on here. Um, off license. Might be an old one. Oh my gosh, diggy diggy hole. Oh yeah, shopping cart, shopping trolley. We know that one. <laughs> trolley. If you said shopping trolley, they'd look at you funny, but they would probably know what you mean. But a trolley, we're just picturing like an old-fashioned car going... Yeah, when you say uh, trolley, I'm trolley imagining car. the red thing that like drives on the rails through the that city. That is not a thing here. There are, I guess, modern rail cars, but we don't call them that. You okay for them, Taco? Do you need me to make a referral to your school counselor? I will. Mmm. That's right, Bailam. What do you guys call the garbage can? Sorry about that. They have a trolley in the old spaghetti factory. <laughs> a bin. They have dustbin here. And... I've heard the word dustbin. I don't think I've ever heard an American use it very much. <laughs> oh, enjoy your workout, Sun Bagel. Dustbin is the outside bin. We call that the. I'd be like, take the garbage out to the garbage. I don't know. The big garbage thing. Apparently, I don't the have it. Dumpster. Enough. Yeah, we have big dumpsters, but I'm thinking of, like, back when you were at your old house, what would you call that big trash can? That's just a garbage bin. Fair. Apparently, they don't use the word apartment. They use the word flat. Oh, yeah. Mm, actually, some people here use that. Flat kind of means, like, a bigger space, you know? When we use the word flat, we're talking about it's got, like... A living room and like a bedroom and like. I don't know about that. Really? You, you, you've you heard flats being referred to just one bedroom part? Yeah. Minutes? I don't hear it being called that. When somebody uses the word flat, I assume they have a really nice apartment. Mm. Do you say broil if you stick something in the oven really, really hot? A house with no upstairs? A one-story house. Yeah, just a, a house. You guys have a word? I want to learn it. It doesn't. It doesn't have like a bungalow. If somebody said I live in a bungalow, they have like a little cabin house. I would be like, "What are you talking about?" We have the word. We have the word bungalow. I think the only people that know what a bungalow is is real estate agents here. I live in a split level <laughs> basement. And story about the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if somebody told me they lived in a bungalow, I'd be like, oh, cool, is Tarzan there? <laughs> no basements in the UK? What? I'm gonna go get my other candy. So much useful space there. Just dig down there. You, you can dig down into the ground and just put a floor there, did you know? Give me some more candy. Which one do you want? The peanut butter one. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You know what? I bet that's why their crime rate is lower than ours. Because nobody has any, like, dungeons. There's no, like, crime basements to put your victims in. What the heck, man? Or to, or to like, cook uh, meth in. That's, that's probably how they do it. That's their secret. No basements, no crime. If I was elected president... But they still have garages. I would get rid of all the basements. They still have garages, right? I would get rid of them all. Is it common to have a garage in the UK where you put your car in? Right? It's probably true, Cookie Man. Brutal. Only wealthy people have garages. Wow. Wow. It's hard to find a house that doesn't have a garage here. Everyone uses the uses cars. Mm -hmm. Very few people get to use the transit st system because also the transit system sucks. Garage. What? The garage? The oh. garage? Oh, that's right. It's the garage. 
in, no, it's the garage. Honey, other people pronounce things differently. It's the garage. Oh, well, I have the another word. Podge garage. If a girl has a barrette come in her hair, Duke, come on. a little pin, Duke. the word I see in here is a hair slide. I don't know if that's modern. My family bought a house in the country and they used their barn to grow weed. <laughs> the previous owners, I was like, your, <laughs> your parents, your parents bought oh, a house. I was just house. like, wow, I, your I didn't parents. know your parents were such <laughs> entrepreneurs. <laughs> I would I would love that if my aunt and uncle grew weed in their barn. Oh my god. <laughs> no basements, no crap. I think I do know what house you're talking about though. <laughs> I think I helped you move out of that house. Yeah, he just re wow, he really did write it like that. My family bought a house in the country and they <laughs> used their barn to grow weed. Like nice. That cool. was the one way to interpret that. <laughs> I think he's covering for them. This is back when it wasn't legal. <laughs> Well, that's creepy, some bagel. I'm burning near me with a pentagram on the roof. <laughs> Weed is legal me. in about like 15 states in the US. Maybe not quite that many. Mm. There's another one slam on the accelerator. No one calls it the accelerator, it's the gas. Gas, gas, gas. I don't know any more words to that song, but it's good. Mm hmm. California, Oregon, Colorado. It's um, the gas pedal or the brake pedal. It's not. It's not the accelerator pedal. It could be. Yeah. Can you? Can you imagine? Yeah. Some bagel knows that song. You can also call the gear stick funny, just a Violet. stick, right? Mm -hmm. Um. A stick shift. The well, shi the, the a gear stick shifter? shift is a kind of car. We wouldn't say the gear shifter. Yeah, we would just say the stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, sh the, the gear shift. The, like the I stick. drive stick. Yeah. I drive stick. I know how to drive stick. I can't. He doesn't. It's because one of my first cars, my first car, was a stick shift. Rest in peace, that Toyota Echo. Not because I have three pedals. Mmm. <laughs> Milk. Why are there six pedals and only four directions? And then we know how to... We, what kind we of drive car are you the, driving now? We drive on the right side of the road. And you guys drive on the wrong side. <laughs> on the left side of the road. Sorry. Really, Violin? I miss that echo. But I don't miss the stick because um, driving on the stick can be kind of fun, but um, it really sucks if you're stalled in traffic because you have to keep your foot on the pedal. Oh, it's a red versus blue. I don't, sorry. Oh, my God. It's common for Americans to only know how to drive automatic cars. But over here, if you drive... Automatic, you're kind of seen as someone who can't really drive properly. What? They don't make stick shifts in the Americas anymore. Yeah, why would you ever make a stick shift car again? No one makes them. The old reason was because they thought they wasted gas. Now, automatic, well, they they, they very rarely, it's hard to find a, a new stick shift unless it's like a, a sports car or... Some kind of special car. It's a Napoleon thing. Um, but it used to be true that automatic cars got worse gas mileage, but then they they got changed and they got updated, and now they are just as good. Trucks. Okay, pretty much every truck is going to be a stick. Very few automatic trucks. Yeah, but I mean, like, like a... for regular civilian driving, why the hell would you ever make a stick shift car ever again? For, for like... Four years, Cookie Man, I, drew, I drove a stick shift, and then eventually it no longer worked, and now we have an automatic. Yep. I wonder if there's other features in the car that are different in Europe and different in uh, the U.S. Your guys' sirens are different. Your sirens are actually better. Yours are, well, yours are better for, for the ears than um, for our, our sirens. Duke keeps licking my hands. And I need these to, like, eat chocolate. So I'm going to need you to pause. But you can keep up here. Yeah, they are incredibly loud. They're very, very loud. Oh, my oh, gosh. He needs food. Go get him. Oh, you can hear the sirens? Really? That was really quiet. We <laughs> hear a lot of sirens because there's a hospital very, very near us. And so an ambulance comes down um, this highway 
in these roads all the time. She's so good at ignoring him. He'll, he'll sit next to her and paw her, and she just doesn't acknowledge him, doesn't even look at him for a second. Just, mm, yeah. Oh, yeah, Bakujin, we're, we're, doing, we're doing the... Uh, American Ambulance? All right, let's go to the hospital, shall we? Oh, no, they'll actually come to you. There's, like, a hotline for it. Oh, we, uh, we can't afford that, my love. <laughs> if one of us, like, breaks a leg, we're going we're gonna to drive the other person to the hospital. <clears throat> now, if, there, if, if breaking a leg is kind of different, because we can just kind of, the person can, like, limp to the car and sit there until we get to the hospital. If one of us was actually in danger, like, had a heart attack or, like, ha- like got stabbed or something, we would, of course, call the ambulance. But we would totally avoid getting an ambulance um, for things that we could bother. Oh, my God, yeah, <laughs> exactly, Bakuchin. Six thousand to see the inside of the ambulance. What video did you hey, post in hey, our buddy. chat, Cookie? Hey, buddy. Ten grand for a baby. Is there? Yep, yep. This is a true cost of U.S. healthcare. Shocks hey, the British you... public. Oh, oh, oh! It's pretty obscene. Come here, dude. Can you jump? It's disgusting. Jump? Oh, good jump, good boy. Oh, oh good there boy. was a Shake. there was a show on good NPR. Shake. About someone that was hired by a private okay. insurance company, um, a very big conglomerate, clom- conglomerate of multiple ones. See you later, so big, I'll sleep well. And um, yeah, Duke was going crazy. And uh, the person's job was back when they were um, first thinking about some like more modern healthcare options in like I think it was like the eighties or nineties. They ran a campaign against Canadian healthcare, uh, and they would like pick and choose certain statistics, or they would find certain anecdotes and try to make Canadian healthcare sound really bad. And then Canadians that happened to be in the U.S. would like hear these horror stories and be like, "What are you talking about? Canadian healthcare is completely inane. It's just totally normal and boring." Um, yeah, and then they they uh, they they kind of did it again. Uh, back when Obamacare was kind of starting to be a thing, uh, but they, yeah, they kind of lost that battle a little bit. They they won some of it, but you know the the one of the HR guys that was responsible for that, one of the PR guys, wrong word. He now is running a campaign against what he used to do because he feels bad for lying to the public and for running this campaign against Canadian healthcare. And so now he he actually went on a tour in Canada and said, I'm sorry for saying that you guys have bad health care. Gosh, can you imagine just being able to go on tours for stuff whenever? Just because, like, you want to apologize? Man, I want to go on an apology tour. For what? I don't know. Anything. Please don't do anything you need to apologize for to a nation for. Goodness. Can you imagine being that fucking rich? I think he works with a company that helps. I don't care. They, they give him the money to do that. True. And just like, you're at a bar afterwards and someone's like, hey, so what you doing in Canada? He's like, well, I really said some nasty stuff about your healthcare system, so I'm kind of saying sorry. Yeah, it's oh, like, sorry. I'm on an apology to her. I know right now. It's crazy to think about. Um, let me see. Oh, I, I've got more on the list here. That's another thing. A pub. a pub. A bar. I think there are some places here that call themselves yeah. like pub. Yeah, they'll call themselves pub. That means that they are for the family. Whether they have like they have alcohol and they have like a little bar, but they also serve dinner. No, that's bar and grill. A pub is also like a hanging out spot. Uh, I'm just. Saying... Oh my God, Cookie Man. You know about that? Apology tour for not picking the bow. <laughs> hey, I eventually picked the bow. I didn't then like. I didn't like boycott it. I just didn't unlock it first. A bar is only alcohol. Fine, I'm coming. I'm coming to Germany. A pub is alcohol. To and Knox food. house, and I'm gonna do an apology tour. Because I think Knock was very personally <laughs> slighted by my unwillingness to unlock the bow first. Wow. Okay, there's a word on here that... Sorry, I slipped. She did. I have a question. That. 
What do you call public schools and private schools? In Wales. I'm curious. Do you call them the same thing? <laughs> they were rich enough to go on an apology tour like Red. <laughs> I'm just going to go to Germany, put up a stand, put up a sign. <laughs> if you are Nock 1982, I need to speak to you. Please approach. Posh twat schools are what we call private schools. Some of the private schools here are not good. Well, private schools are almost synonymous with Christian schools here. It's hard to find a private school that's not also somehow religious. Comprehensive schools. And also, people don't usually assume that you've been to a better education just because you've been to a private school. They usually assume you've had a more religious ex education and a more sheltered education. Um, though there, there are private schools that are much better and there are private schools that, that actually don't even hire teachers that like have bachelor's degrees. That's more likely for elementary though. You should be a posh prick if you go to private school. There are really nice private school. Yeah. I think the reason I think that is because I have friends that have been to private schools for elementary and the elementary schools were worse than the public schools. They didn't have a... I mean, they had lower class sizes, but they didn't learn all the same things that we did. Look at me, I'm not good enough. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Nock. Austrian, Austrian. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Nock. That's what you're going to have to go on the apology Dang tour it. for. You add, did it! Add some more stops you, to the apology you tour. You did it! The bow and uh, calling him German. Mm -hmm. You were just saying, you the, like, German language, and I, yeah. I forgot. Americans do not, the average American does not know that they speak German in Australia. Uh, Austria! It is, yeah. Austria. Can you believe that they speak German in Australia? I thought they spoke Australian And they don't speak exclusively Australia. German in Austria. There's lots of languages spoken in Austria. But what I'm wondering is, where do they speak Austrian? Austria, Alex. No, they speak German there. We've been through this. You <laughs> speak <laughs> Russian. How is Russia? Russian is also spoken in many places. Okay. Let's see if I've got something else. Oh. What do you guys call strollers? You speak European? <laughs> a stroller where you, like, push a kid in. How's the European Union? Not good. A pram. Yeah, I'm going to have to come with you. Us ignorant Americans have a lot to apologize for. The baby limo. What the fuck? I'm just joking. What's a what's a pram? What's a baby limo? What's happening? The baby limo is a joke. Pram is an actual word for a stroller. <laughs> a four wheeled carriage for a baby pushed by a person or on foot. <laughs> no, pushed by a person on foot. No, no ifs, ands, or ors about it. Okay, well, let's see what else I have on this list. Oh, oven mitt, apparently, the word we've been saying the entire time is called an oven glove in British English. Wait, we have the the oven glove, though. It's like, it's a product made by a company where you have, like, all the fingers, but it's I haven't still even heard of that, glove. but that sounds like a thing we'd make. Yeah, it's only it's only an it's only a glove if you've got all the fingers. Otherwise, it's a mitten. Yeah. Also, you know what's so funny? It's a mitt. We we uh, this is a glove. This is a mitt. We we call them mittens. You would never call them mitts, but mm -hmm. then oven mitt is always oven mitt. You never call it an oven mitten. <laughs> They're all gloves, apparently. <clears throat> no. Oh my god! It's late. Ten to five. Ten to six. Oof. It's early now. It's, it's ten to ten here. Dude, I'm so glad you guys I, are here. I always hated that when somebody would say, like, oh, it's it's 10 to 2. It's like, it, but it's not 2, so stop saying 2. It's 1. It's 150. You didn't like that? No, I hated that. I always round. But I usually always round to the nearest 10, and I'll say it's it's 650. I don't usually say it's what, 10 till. What about a baseball mitt? <laughs> I, I, have, I have a sound clip I gotta play for that. See, Nano, Nano in California is in our time zone, so... We don't really watch sports. And now, with sports, here's SportsBot 5000. All sports can 
console. <laughs> there you go. Who here watches professional sports? Anyone? What about when people say it's 10 till? Yeah, no, I don't like that. I mean, I guess I get it now, but like as a kid, I really didn't like it because it, it screwed me up. Not me, I watch Red Ahead of Rock. Wrestling? Wait, who? Baku Jean. Wrestling what? Huh? Oh, we're talking about professional sports. Oh, you're in, you're yeah. in a little bit of food coma. What? No, I missed it. You're not going back. You're, you're not Professional going... sports. I was asking you if they What about them? Do people watch them? Okay, see, you can't just say professional sports because I still don't know what we're doing. You're not, like, helping me here. You're just, you're just acting like I'm... <laughs> I don't think you can get banned, Bylan. You're a mod. <laughs> That's like higher than me right now. I just had a lot of spicy chicken and some chocolates, and now I'm... I'm, I'm tired. When do we play game? I guess I should go and play some inside. Should I finish my list here? Mod. Wrestling isn't real sports. I finished my second. I'd rather watch eSports. Chocolate. I still do technically. Japan reopened wrestling. Nice. I've oh. never watched professional sports. I don't know anyone personally that watches professional sports. I don't think anybody laughed at my all sports canceled joke. Oh yeah, we can absolutely see Duke. I laughed. Ooh, that's Silently. early. I thought it was funny. It's okay. Dang it. It's okay. I just yeah. realized they're over there and I've been looking over there here the whole time. It's cute. Okay. Elevator. It's called what in British English? A lift. Yes, good job. Um, a sidewalk is called. The curb? According to this, it's called the pavement. Which is interesting, because we do not use the pavement that way. I guess. Yeah, wrestling is like, it's like a theater sport. Yeah, wrestling is like a performance sport. It's nice. What do you call an elevator? An elevator? A, a little, little box that takes you to the we sky. We call it the nifty lifty up and downer. That's what they, that's what they call it in, in British English. <laughs> That's looking German. Let me, let me, Zebra crossing let snow. Me, let me pull up one crosswalk. of those posts. It's a crosswalk. They do look striped like a zebra, um, though. Oh, my God. Uh, there it is. Apparently, a word for bangs, so like, like this, would be called fringe. Here we go. So it's the it's, oh, no. it's the meme of like it's like this no. incredibly British dude for the picture, and then it's my face when Americans call chips French fries, uh, when they call crisps chips, when they call chocolate globernauts candy bars, when they call motorized rolling hams cars. <laughs> my face when Americans call Mary Fizzle bombs fireworks. <laughs> My face when Americans call meat water gravy. I got to the escalator one. The upstairs stairsy. <laughs> the the upstairs stairsy. The escalator. Slippery dippery long mover. A snake. <laughs> Cobblestone clippity clops roads. <laughs> My face when Americans call electro rope power cables. <laughs> My face in Americans call a Rudy Shooty, a Rudy Tooty Point and Shooty a gun. <laughs> we don't get to see these British slander memes. Wait, wait, they do point sports so they like things. It. It's more curated. Am I really gonna show them cell phone footage of my computer just, screen? Just, just show them what it looks like. That's all. That's all. This is the. This is the. Show them the, the picture of the British boy. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. But Bakuji knows this. PP friction pleasure sex. <laughs> That's me. Look, there it is. It's Cookie Man. There he you, is. You look lovely, man. Wow. Autofocus, do your fucking job. No, it's not into that. Well, I think we did enough learning for an entire week.
Yeah. <laughs> they can just look at their mug. Here we go. We're back. Face reveal. There's the spice. If <laughs> only we had a spicy channel. <laughs> a knitty, witty, sheepity, sleepity sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Nutty gum and fruit spleggings, peanut butter and jelly. This one actually has something to do with the British word. A chocolate chip bicky wicky. <laughs> what a is cookie. that one? Because biscuit. Cookie. Biscuit for cookie. <laughs> My face when Americans call whimsy flimsy mark and scribblers pens. <laughs> After oh, nearly two goodness. years. It even has a human face. We what? Actually, what? 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 Okay. Uh, I think it's time to play some oh, inside. Oh my god. What? Vicky Wicky? Vicky Wicky. To be fair, we've got some dumb names for stuff here. Cookie Man says we say that to kids. Do you want a Vicky Wicky? Oh. You've had eight Vicky Wickies today, George. <laughs> eight? What the fuck kind of kid are you babysitting? This too kid too. is an orb. Imagine being an adult and just being like, oh, I think that kid just ate eight <laughs> cookies. <laughs> Maybe I I should... <laughs> they started in the morning. <sighs> they had like two for breakfast, two for lunch, two for dinner. You're going to make him snacks. think this is what we do in America. No, the average number of Vicky Wickies <laughs> per day is four. <laughs> four. I'm sorry, dude. This so is our good. American dog. Oh. You don't have you don't have that many bicky wickies. Doctor Jim says that's depression eating. Yeah. <laughs> the two, two in the morning. Cookies in the morning. Two cookies at night. Two cookies for lunchtime. Get those cookies out of my sight. <laughs> why did you put it on a moon? <laughs> this is why we don't stream this late, okay? <laughs> This is what happens after my we have to off the cameras, by the way. <laughs> what did you put in my drink? How do you hide alcohol and milk? You poured your drink. Oh no! There's like a compartmentalized part of my brain that's like We gotta play a video game. Can we have a Bicky Wicky? Can I have another? Can I have another? <laughs> Times eight. Your neighbors must think your drugs is nano. Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> I eat a lot of Vicky Wickies, guys. <laughs> it just seemed like a normal number. <laughs> <laughs> you were just hoping you could pass that off on us, weren't you? Let's go play a video game. Oh, gosh, guys. I can't wait to eat all of these tomorrow. <laughs> good, thing, good thing I have... Oh, I was thinking of tiny little, <laughs> tiny little like, Oreos. Good, good thing I, I have at least one or two days supplies of cookies there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't point that at me. Oh, do we play? Do we play a game with the controller or keyboard? I'm pretty sure you play with the controller. <laughs> Play inside. Are you ready? Here we go. And if I get tired of it, I will launch Spelunky 2. <laughs> then I'm counted. You counted. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Okay. Alright, here we go. Make sure to change the title and category. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 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 
news? Now that we calmed down, did you see my news about the about the? Oh yeah, I was about to read it when we started going bicky wicky with it. Bucky, don't tell you. We're gonna like eat the pen. What the fuck, dude? No. Oh my god. Oh no. I got oh no, the eyes. I gotta go scrub my hands. Why is it? Oh my god, the white noise. Oh, please. So you can sleep to it here. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm changing the. Changing title. Life. That's not true. You're gonna eat one tomorrow. Shut up. <laughs> I don't eat Vicky Wickies because I'm a grown adult. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna eat? Is a dark chocolate. You're, you're showing covered. it to the wrong camera. This dark chocolate. Oh, right, we haven't switched yet. <laughs> Makes me wish I was Dutch and lived in the land of the Dutch. Oh, oh no. yeah. You're so, gonna have so to the, for. the Dutch are fining over loot boxes. Gotta pay him money. Okay, here we go. Streams offline for like two seconds.